you know, the U.S. is incredibly vulnerable when it comes to cybersecurity. Can you break down for our viewers just how serious the threat is? And, and you know, sitting back, you know, you, you basically couldn't just sit back and watch without doing something about it. So you donated, I mean, so much money, um, you know, it, it, to, to create a college for it. Right. Well, I mean, if you think about the last 50 years, our last 50 years in computing has all been about digitizing the world's information, taking everything from paper, taking everything from books, putting it into a digital form. And we did a great job of that. And everything's digitized now. All of our knowledge, all of our libraries, all everything we know in life has been digitized at this point, including transactions and everything else. The last 10 years we've spent putting everything on the internet, the internet of things. And so now we have everything on the internet. We have all the knowledge on the internet. What we're getting ready to do right now and are doing is we're getting ready to do the next wave, which is to put artificial intelligence to everything that's on the network. So that means really serious opportunity for hacking to happen. And in a very, you know, scary way, in a, in a, in a way, you know, you start thinking about Imagine all that you have in ChatGPT 4.0 downloaded into a robot that's a thousand times stronger than you or I, and that can be hacked because it's on the internet. So it's that serious. You know, you just, you brought up artificial intelligence. Uh, intelligence. AI is advancing quickly. It's reshaping the world. How important is it for America to lead in this space? And what's at stake if we don't? Elon Musk talks about it all the time himself. Everything is at stake if we don't. It's, you know, America has always been great at innovation, always been great at being the first to, to, to get innovations right and then to monetize those innovations. That's not so true with artificial intelligence because we've open sourced everything. And so that's wide open to the rest of the world. And you see Chinese companies that are advancing, like DeepSeek and others, who are advancing in the AI world and they have a very specific game plan on how they're going to use AI. And it's not necessarily to the benefit of the United States of America. So it's, it's, it's an imperative. We have got to get going on this right now. Can you tell us about this college? Um, when is it going to be, you know, fully up and running? When can people start applying for the college? Yeah, well, first of all, Lauren and I have also put together a, a fund of $10 million dollars to bring the best and the brightest professors and students to the University of South Florida, to the new Bellini College. We do see it as the West Point. We already have 3,000 students. And so <laughs> overnight, we have 3,000 students. We're well on our way to 5,000 students. And every semester, we're going to be pumping 1,200 students uh, or graduates into the Tampa Bay community, which is, by the way, a center of excellence for cybersecurity. We have MacDill Air Force Base here, and so we actually have Central Command for the United States of America, five miles down the street here. We have Special Operations Command, five miles down the street here for the United States of America. So we have about 3,000 cybersecurity professionals in that group in Tampa Bay already, and a host of professional service organizations and software companies based here in Tampa Bay who are really working hard on this cybersecurity problem. And so we really have absolutely everything. The only thing we were missing was this college. And so we really see this as, if you will, the Stanford of the South. The thing that made Silicon Valley really go is this virtuous cycle between the university and, um, and the business community in mm -hmm. the Silicon Valley area. Well, we have that happening with cybersecurity right here in Tampa Bay right now. It seems like you're onto something, and I have a feeling there will be more. We'll be seeing more of these colleges pop up, but you are, you know, starting and investing a lot of money. Um, you didn't have to do this. You really didn't. For all our viewers asking where One America News is heading in the future, we would like to introduce you to OAN Live. OAN Live is the best way to stay up to date on all of the hard-hitting, straight-shooting, national and international headlines. And the best part is, OAN Live is only $4.99 per month. All the credible, honest, unbiased reporting One America News offers at a fraction of the cost of cable. Just go to OANN.com to easily sign up for OAN Live and stay informed.